I do not think I've ever seen this many loose Pokemon games. And no, this is not a video game store. This is a charity shop. But the question is, will the price be right? And will I be able to make a deal? Hello again folks and welcome back to another live game hunting episode and this time we're coming from literally where it all started, the town where I grew up, Chroma on the North Norfolk coast and hitting some of those local towns and villages in the area to add awesome stuff into the collection. But not only that, this time I'm hoping to pick up an item from my local CX store in Norwich but I'm hoping to pick up some items along the way today to trade in to get an item for free. If you enjoy videos like this, please hit that like button and please subscribe. As I put new videos out every Saturday live at 5, as well as bonus content throughout the week. And I really want you folks along for the ride. Now, let's hit the road, build that CX credit and add to the collection. Here we go then, and my local recycling centre is normally a pretty good place to find some items to flip into CX Fit Store credit. The consoles in here are normally priced pretty well. I kind of couldn't work out what this was to begin with. I think it's kind of this one of these weird at games mega drives that looks a bit like a Wii or some kind of third party console. If you know what this is for sure, please let me know in the comments down below. Once again, loads of Wii consoles in here at the moment. These would have traded in really well a few years ago, but now not so much. Looking further, I did find a couple of weird like accessory bits here. Like I saw these kind of joysticks and controllers. Sounded they were for the PC, and for some reason, like the pedals from a steering wheel. I'm not sure who needs these pedals specifically for their steering wheel, but if it is you, they are here in this recycling center. Now here is something I have looked at so 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 many times: the Simpsons DVD season box sets. They were all here for a pound, and these were some of the later seasons, which I don't see as often. I always see like seasons one to five or six or seven. The kind of first ten seasons I see quite often at the car boots and the charity shops. But the later seasons I don't see more often. So this got me thinking: Are some of these seasons worth trading into CX? A lot of the early seasons only trading for a very small amount, but some of the later seasons seem like they do trade in fairly well so i did check some of these on cx but i did make an error here so i thought some of these box sets traded in for a lot more than they do so i thought there was seasons 16 15 and 14 that traded in quite well on checking the cx app the only problem being is not these cardboard cases is actually the head cases so i thought these were the same thing but unfortunately not but i guess i've just picked up three simpsons dvds on the road to Chroma and I stopped off in Alsham, a small market town, to check out some of the charity shops there. This was a really, really cool t-shirt. Unfortunately, it is a little bit small for me, but seriously, who doesn't like a good Pokemon t-shirt? The next stall and a wall of DVDs, 50p each or free for a pound. Unfortunately, I could not find anything here I wanted for the collection or that would flip into CX for any kind of profit. But let me know if you manage to pause this and find something I've missed. I'm always looking for DVDs that you can pick up super cheap and trade into CX. They are few and far between, but one thing you can trade into CX for good money is just dance games. The only problem being there's not really enough meat on the bone on this one. They're selling it for £3 and unfortunately it also trades into CX for £3, which is a real shame. If I could have picked this up for a quid or maybe even a quid 50, that would have been perfectly good. I would have got us on the road to that game at CX, but not this time. We're continuing the hunt just down the coast from Chroma in the small coastal town of Sheringham. And this is a game which really needs a remaster or another game. The Resistance games were absolutely fantastic and it kind of boggles the mind that this has not been remastered into 4K for the PlayStation 5. This next charity shop had a really good selection of card and board games. And here's one I've never seen before. One Night Ultimate Werewolf. I'm quite a big board gamer, but I've never seen this one before. But seriously, do not sleep on board games in charity shops. Some of these can flip for some pretty decent money. This one I wasn't quite sure of. One thing though, when you're buying board games, you have to make sure they're complete. And this, for me, is one of the classic board games of my youth. Dizzy Dizzy Dinosaur. Yeah. My wife actually bought this for me recently for birthday or Christmas, and we have played it, and it does stand the test of time. Unfortunately, it doesn't sell very well on eBay, otherwise I would have definitely picked this up. But one thing you have to be sure of when you are buying vintage or even modern board games is that none of the pieces are missing. 
as I said, this charity shop had a really good selection of kind of board and tabletop games. I don't know what this kind of sumo game was. It looked a bit like kind of past the pigs, but with sumo wrestlers. But it did look super cool, but it's so hard, like, buying board games. The only thing is they take so much room. Some of these small ones are quite cool. If you are ever looking for a very simple party game, Don't Get Got is a fantastic game. We played this over Christmas. It's super simple. You have a few very easy objectives and you simply have to fill them out. It's pretty cheap on Amazon. I wasn't really sure if this one was complete, so I did leave it behind. But trust me, if you want a simple party game, you can play either over just one night or or even a year, or even years with your friends or family, I would definitely recommend picking up one of these Don't Get Got games. They are great. Moving on from board games back to video games, we have some PlayStation 3 games here, but look at the prices. Need for Speed Shift, £5. Charity shop prices in 2023 can be absolutely crazy. I would have picked this one up if it was a pound or two pound, maybe even three pound, but five pounds for a PlayStation 3 game is pretty crazy. It's just like blows my mind. Like Rock Band here, five pounds again. Maybe in like 20 years' time, yes, these games might be up to five pounds. At the moment, no way. I kind of happened across this shop because the window display kind of enticed me in. And inside they had these WWE Heritage Collection trading cards. These must be some of the rarer cards. Like they kind of have pieces of people's outfits or bits of the ring or even signatures. These were super cool, but they were very pricey. But that's the thing with some of these trading cards from sets. They are worth a lot of money. These were super cool. But for me, it would just be so awesome to open up a packet and just find one of these randomly. When it comes to trading cards, I like to get the whole set of them, but these were super cool to see. I'm always on the lookout for video game based t-shirts, normally promotional ones. Sadly, this was kind of just a standard t-shirt for fans of Call of Duty Modern Warfare. It was a little bit small, but it was pretty cool to see nonetheless. This is a sign of things to come. This is the first of many Gran Turismo games we see this video. This one is only £2.50, but trust me, one I find later in this video is worth a lot of money. I did not realise how much this game was worth, and trust me, if you see this game I'm going to show you later in the video, do not leave it behind. Here's a random one, but I'm sure some collector somewhere is looking for these Take That dolls. If you are there in a charity shop in Sheringham, back to the classic DVDs. We've got a load of box sets here. I did scan a lot of these using the CX app, but unfortunately none of these kind of came up as very much. I'm sure the Game of Thrones box sets used to be a decent trade-in, but it seems like they're not anymore. Classic trilogy of films, the Rambo DVD trilogy. This one trades in for a couple of quid, but there wasn't really enough meat on the bone. Here we go then, we have found a decent selection of games. First we have WWF Smackdown Shut Your Mouth, obviously one of the greatest wrestling games of all time, only kind of trumped by Here Come the Pain. But there is still some Wii games you can trade into CX for a couple of quid. So here we have Sonic and the Secret Rings, which I already have in my collection. And like I said earlier, Just Dance games. This Just Dance 2017, I think it's one of the later Just Dance games on the Wii, and that trades in for five pounds so we finally have something to trade in to put towards that game i'm looking to pick up from cx later in the episode Wii music is still something that makes me laugh to this day how nintendo thought it was gonna be a good thing uh, is beyond me nothing really else here a lot of Wii shovelware these are the kind of games that it's worth scanning but once you know they're not really worth anything they're probably just worth leaving behind but finally we're finding some decent games to pick up to trade into cx but remember, when it comes to Wii, strangely, some of these kids' games can trade in for a decent amount. Sadly, this Ben 10 game doesn't, Samba Amigo doesn't, and I did scan all these. Sadly, no profit to be made here. But some of the games made for kids on Wii still stay at a high price, especially keep an eye out for Coraline. Let me know in the comments down below, would you personally have taken the risk and picked up this copy of Microsoft Flight Simulator? Yes, in theory, you could double your money taking this to trade it into CX for in-store credit, but... The eagle-eyed among you may be able to spot why I did not pick this game up. This next charity shop had pretty much the definition of charity shop video games. Yes, there was lots of them, but these were the, all the kind of games that CX really would give you a penny in trade-in for. Or that you could pick up the car boot for only about 20p. These are like the lowest of the lows. The FIFAs, the brain trainings, the sports games from 20 years ago. These are the kind of games which I just think are going to sit in charity shops forever and ever. Like, 
these are the kind of games I kind of wonder, like, who really even wants these in collections? I think these are mainly for people who are going for absolute completionism. Like, some of these PlayStation Move games, the FIFAs, the Skylanders. <laughs> and then, randomly, Little Big Planet a Little Big Planet 2. But, pure charity shop fodder. I am a massive fan of South Park and recently certain episodes of South Park have been banned for reasons I'm sure you can Google yourself, but I have a theory. These seasons on DVD with the banned episodes I think will be worth a lot of money very, very soon. The thing is with a lot of DVDs you can simply go online and stream them, but if it is illegal to stream these episodes, the DVDs are going to essentially be priceless. So I left the link in here, go find them. I'm a fan of all video game movies, be them good or bad, but I think this one falls into the good category. I think this more recent version of Tomb Raider, I actually prefer to the Angelina Jolie ones, as I think this one kind of follows the kind of plot of the recent reboot of the Tomb Raider game. So yeah, I would definitely recommend checking this one out. I think it definitely falls into the good pile. Here we are in Chroma then, in the charity shops, in our final town of today's hunt. And how cool is this RC surfer and jet ski? But a lot of stuff in this charity shop had a very high price. Like, it's not too bad, both those were 45 quid. I thought they were pretty cool. But this, this is overpriced. This at Games Mega Drive for 80 quid. Yes, it may be HD and it may have some good games in it, but this is not the best way to play Mega Drive, especially with the minis. Like, this it's just not great. I would probably pick one of these up for like five or ten pounds, but 80 pounds is just an absolutely ridiculous deal. No one is going to pick it up forever. Now, this is how I was eagle eyed. Look at this pile of DS games, and what is that poking out of one of those money bags? Pokemon for the DS. But the only problem is these were all priced um, absolutely yes. perfectly, which is absolutely devastating. Like, imagine walking into a charity shop and finding all these Pokemon games for, like, a good price. I say a good price. These are about CX price for most of these games. But the thing is, they are loose as well. And at the end of the day, I kind of feel sorry for whoever donated these to the charity shop. Like... Imagine taking in like your son or daughters or even your old DS and just said, oh yeah, just donate it to charity. And then they are making hundreds of pounds of profit on this. Like, yes, it's for charity and it's very cool and I'm glad they're making money, but what an absolute markup. Yeah, I was gutted though. I, if, if these had been cheaper, I'd have probably picked up every single one of these. But that's the thing. At the end of the day, the charity shops are trying to make a profit. Anyway, back to business. A wall of DVDs, £1.50 each or free for £3. So let's get stuck in. Tons of DVD box sets here. Unfortunately, they are all as priced and nothing was either cheap enough or profitable enough to take into CX. But here we have another video game movie, which I think had quite a bit of promise. Warcraft The Beginning. I feel like this was kind of the start of maybe a trilogy or a series of films, but I think a lot of people didn't like it. I didn't mind it. I didn't think it was like the best film ever, but... One video game film which is absolutely fantastic and has stood the test of time is Final Fantasy The Spirits Within. This was like a special edition DVD and it was shiny, it was in a cool package and it was kind of lenticular. So yeah, for £1.50, definitely wanted to pick this one up. I think this is definitely one of the best video game films of all time. I'm sure there's a lot of movie fans out there and a lot of folks who trade DVDs into CX, but one of these films is not like the other. Can you spot the odd one out? It is of course... The Bad Karate Kid movie, that's right. We don't like that Karate Kid movie. We like the originals. We like the Karate Kid part two and part three. As a wrestling fan, this was equal parts tacky and amazing. This vintage rock necklace, like who would ever wear this thing? It's truly awful, but as a zeitgeist of like early 2000s WWE merch, it's amazing. One thing you can always flip for good money on eBay is Lego. And this entire box of Lego was £7.50. I have not got the biggest knowledge of Lego, and I think this is Technic, but for £7.50, I could tell this was definitely worth picking up to flip. Or I would be saying that, but I was the nice guy and decided to pick this up to give it to my nephew. Sometimes I think it's more about somebody being able to play with something and making a profit on eBay. 
Here we go then, the final store of the day. The last chance to get some CX trading credit and a couple of Gran Turismo games. But these were $4.99 each, which seems quite high. Gran Turismo 4 is a fantastic game. I was quite tempted to pick up this copy of FIFA 11, but firstly, I wasn't quite sure if it was an official seal, and secondly, it's FIFA 11. Gran Turismo 3, this time the Platinum version. But this is a game I don't think I've ever seen before. Gran Turismo Concept. And I scanned this with a CX app and it came up incredibly high. It's definitely picking that one up. I may not have made too much CX credit today, but we still have £8 to spend in CX. And at the end of the day, I've worked hard. I think I deserve to treat myself today. So let me know in the comments below. Before the end of the video, can you guess which game I picked up for the collection? Here we are then back in the games room. We may not have picked up many things today, but I think it's definitely quality over quantity. We're going to start off with a little bit of disappointment though. So I got not one, not two, but three seasons of The Simpsons. Now, when you go on CX's website, the pictures they use for these DVDs are actually really misleading. As I said at the start of the episode, we were looking for bits that we could trade into CX for good trading value. If these had been the plastic head versions of these DVDs, we would have been into some serious trading credit. And I do think these pictures are really misleading, but trust me, if you ever see the plastic head DVDs of The Simpsons, pick them up. I am slowly building quite a nice selection of video game based movies on DVD and Blu-ray and I had to pick up this one, Final Fantasy The Spirits Within. And I've never seen this kind of version before, it's half, dare I say it, lenticular. It's a really nice package and seriously, I think this is one of the classic video game movie kind of tie-ins. But let me know, what is your favourite video game movie? As we all know, there are tons of Gran Turismo games. And a lot of these do not trade in very well at CX and you can easily add them cheap into the collection, which you should as they are all amazing driving games. But keep an eye out for this one, specifically Gran Turismo Concept 2002 Tokyo Geneva Edition. This game trades in for a crazy amount. So even if you don't have any interest in adding this to collection, this is definitely one that's worth picking up if you see it cheap to flip into CX. This one is going to be going straight into my collection. It is complete, but let me know, is this the normal disc for this game? I notice it is a platinum version of the disc, but is that normal for this copy of the game? I don't think I've ever seen this one before. It was five pounds, but at a price this in CX, I had to pick it up. Now folks, here we have an important lesson. Do not always trust the CX app when you scan items. When I scanned this game, which I didn't recognize, it came up as selling in CX for £48. But that must have been an old barcode or an old iron because sadly, when you put this into the standard CX app, this game is only a £4 app. That means the charity shops have won, CX has won, but sadly, I have lost. But you win some, you lose some. I'm just glad to add a game I don't have into the collection, even I might have paid a pound more for it I would have done in CX. At the start of the episode, I said we were looking for items to flip into CX because there was a specific item I was after, and it is this game, Desert Strike for the Snares. And this thing is in really nice condition. It is complete. I've been on a real Snares collecting kick recently, and this is just £15 box in CX. But the problem we all know with CX, if you order online, you have no idea what condition the game is going to come in. And for my money, I think this is a really good £15 spend. So I may have only traded in two games towards this, but I paid £3 for those two games and I got £8 trading. That's over doubling our money. And at the end of the day, picking this game up for just over a fiver ain't too bad. There we have it then, another week of game hunting. And let me know. What PlayStation 2 games have you found in the wild and you are amazed by how expensive they are? Or let me know, so far in 2023, what is the most overpriced thing you have seen in a charity shop? It seems some charity shops are just charging so much for things these days. And I want to know what the craziest thing is you've seen out there. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you do, hit that like button, subscribe, and as always, keep playing the game. See you all soon.